Introducing DT's newest rolling laboratory, a 2001 LB7. Built for drag racing, of course, but under the hood, that's where it gets a little bit interesting. So we have a bit of an unconventional twin kit here. Tucked in the valley of this LB7 is our Stealth 64. And this is the same turbochargers you can bolt on any LB7 with a built transmission and make 610 rear wheel horsepower. Now we're looking for a little bit more than that on this drag truck, which is why we have the S500 here over as the primary. This is a lot of turbocharger, and the reason we built the kit this way is so that eventually we can upgrade the turbocharger in the valley and take the truck into the nines. But first, we just wanted to see how far we could push this little Stealth 64 with this big S500 twin kit. The results are a little bit surprising. Let me bring you up to speed on where we're at so far. We had to make some modifications to comply with the National Hot Rod Diesel Association safety rules, which included installing a roll cage. Necessary evil, added a lot of weight, makes Owen nice and safe though. The engine features a pretty basic build, dual fuelers, 100% over injectors, a stock cam and stock heads, with a built bottom end, rods and pistons. Of course, there's a billet, fully built trans behind it. We've got an Allison in this thing still. ECM and TCM tuning by us at DuramaxTuner.com. After a nice fresh wrap to cover up that 300,000 mile paint, tags, and insurance, we're off to the U.S. Truck and Diesel Nationals at Raceway Park in Englishtown, New Jersey. Our trip out there got a little bit interesting when we lost a trailer tire and caused us a solid two hour delay. Thankfully, we found the tires we needed and got back on the road that night. After three hours of sleep, Owen Powell takes the wheel on race day, where he clocks a borderline embarrassing 11-0 pass, followed by another 11-0 pass. Not exactly what we had in mind, so we're off to make a few changes when, of course, the rain shows up. Luckily, we had some clear weather five days later back in the Midwest, and we took the truck to Great Lakes Dragway. Our pursuit of the mid-10s continues. Of course, we found a little bit of a boost leak and had a few other tweaks to make to the truck before we hit the track that night. We got three passes that night, and we got a steady improvement out of each one. Went from an 11 to a 1070, and then the final race. Owen gets a solid launch and blasts off a 1054 at 131 miles an hour. Very clean, very crisp, the truck looks good. We're making progress. So that wraps up stage one. We're seven passes in, we're at 1050 to 131 miles an hour. We've done pretty good with the Stealth 64. I'm really excited to see what the larger Stealth series turbos are gonna do. And we'll talk more about those as we get into this winter. But I don't see any reason why we can't get this thing pretty, pretty solidly into the nines. Um, might do a little bigger upgrade on the S500 side. Might go to a little bit bigger compressor there. But we'll see, we'll play it by ear. It's been fun so far, it's a fun project, and we'll keep you all posted on the updates. I'm Nick, thanks for watching.